tonight, engineers are busy creating a plan to get that portion of I-95 rebuilt as quickly as possible. Giving people hope is a similar incident in Atlanta that happened six years ago when crews were able to make repairs in less than two months. Action News reporter Sharifa Jackson now she's joining us live in Taconi tonight with that part of our coverage. Sharifa. Yeah, Shari, a lot of similarities. Engineers say that this was not an infrastructure issue. The I-95 portion, fairly new, only 10 to 12 years old. They say the extreme heat, the reason for that collapse. And this was an intricate structure that they worked to put together, and it'll take some time to fix. 45-minute detour just to get to Wawa and uh, just to get to work. I'm only five minutes away. You don't realize how much that cripples the city. You really, really don't. It's a question just about every driver impacted by the I-95 collapse and closure is asking, when will the road be back open to traffic? Officials say it could take months to repair both the northbound and southbound lanes that were damaged by the deadly tanker fire. We design stuff to be reliable, and this is odd and unreliable. It's happened in the past. If you consider the bridge fires that happened and compared to maybe like a home fire or a building fire, there's way, way less of those. Chopper 6 gives us a look of the giant hole where the road should be and said there's thousands of pounds of concrete below. The collapse drew immediate parallels to a similar fiery bridge collapse that happened in Atlanta, Georgia in 2017. It toppled a portion of the I-85 interstate, shutting the overpass down completely, but it was repaired in just six weeks. Given the size, Professor Bechtel expects this latest collapse to take much longer. They probably have to remove everything that's there, look at what's left. Every bridge is essentially custom made, brought to the site and constructed. And I-95 is a big road that carries heavy traffic. Crews have been working around the clock, inspecting and then demolishing the damaged stretch of road while engineers are designing its replacement. To speed up the process, Governor Josh Shapiro is asking the feds for more money. I think the clear message from us is that any federal resources that are necessary uh, will be made available to ensure that this uh, bridge gets reopened as quickly as possible. And officials asking drivers, commuters for grace as they begin these repairs and to get used to those alternate routes for the time being. It's a pretty big mess and it will last for a little while. We're live from Taconi, Sharifa Jacks for Action News at 10 on PHL 17. Shari? Yeah, okay, Sharifa, thank you. Be sure to keep the 6ABC app handy as we continue to monitor the efforts to repair I-95. We are also putting up information about the truck drivers, much as we're learning, and we'll help you, of course, course navigate these road closures.